But I'm thinking I'm gonna like add a fish scale braid or add like some jewels to it. I'm not sure yet. I wanna do something cute. It's four o'clock, almost five, and the carpet starts at seven thirty. So I really don't have that much time. I have a really busy week, like busy you guys, like busy. Psalms 3 says, Lord, how my foes increase. There are many who attack me. Many say about me, there is no help for him in God. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of thousands of people who have taken their stand against me on every side. Rise up, Lord. Save me, my God. You strike all of my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessings be on your people. Mm. This is such a great scripture. Um, this is Psalms 3, and this is talking about just having confidence in troubled times. When there are people that speak against you, when there are people that have done you wrong, um, the Lord fights for you, and it says the Lord will rise up, and he will save you from your enemies. And so today we talk about keeping your faith and your hope in Jesus Christ, um, and you'll be able to rejoice in that he is your shield. So I love that God shields and comforts us from our circumstances, from our situations, and those that are just don't have just those that just don't have the best interest for us. So I love this psalm. This talk with this psalm is of David when he fled from his son. Um, and I am reading from the Tony Evans Study Bible uh, because I just I have not always been like a Bible reader. Um, that comprehends everything that I'm reading. So I've always just read the Bible, um, but not a lot of times do I comprehend it. So for me, you know, I'm considered like, I guess I'm still considered like a baby Christian and a Christian that's, you know, still learning and dealing with things. Um, and my faith is growing in the Lord. And I realized that the only way my intimacy is going to grow with God is if I get in my word and get to know him more. Um, so I love that this Bible breaks down what you're reading in simple terms for me. Um, and it also gives you references and descriptions of what you read. And this Bible also has... Um, Where you can scan the QR codes and it gives like videos and prayers on what you just were. So I love that. Um, so I'm gonna read a few more chapters here and then we're gonna head to the gym.
probably got my eyes closed. Work employment. Mm -hmm. uh, one. once again to the end of the course but not the end of our journey as wife lifers we give you the praise we give you the glory we give you the honor sweet wonderful holy spirit we ask that you tabernacle with us in this meeting we ask that you guide us lead us and direct us i bring a fresh blood covering i draw blood line i plead ahead to protect around each and every person on here their spouses their spouses to be their children their family their businesses lord everything concerning them let your blood speak on their behalf let the counsel of the godhead stand let everything that is on your heart let those things come to pass we decrease so that you may increase holy spirit have your way until the spirit comes upon us from on high and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field and the fruitful field becomes like a forest let your presence be made evident let your glory rest I take this meeting captive unto the obedience of Christ, and I bind the hand of Satan. Now and on the replay, Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Good. Hey, there's a very good evening. Or good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Guys, we are week number six, and you guys have become butterflies. Whether you like it or not, you'll never be able to to go back to the way that you were because <laughs> even when you try you already have noticed that you get corrected by the holy spirit or you hear my voice which is just the holy spirit using good morning good morning guys today is april 2nd 2024 um just woke up and um i am in canada so it is about 11 o'clock here now. I am in my wife prep school. As you can see, I'm still in the bed, girl. <laughs> I am still in bed. I literally, like, I just woke up. Like, I just woke up. Or, well, I've been up for probably like an hour, but my body is so sore from the workout um, last night. So I want to work out today, but I'm going to go down a little later. Um, because I'm going to eat at the restaurant, um, downstairs. So I'm at a meal prep and yeah, it's so beautiful down there. And I've never ate here at this hotel. So I'm going to go down and get something to eat. I'm going to take you guys with me and our pickup time is at five, I believe. So, um, I want to go down maybe like four. So that means I'll probably go work out um, after wife prep is over. So it's 11 o'clock right now and we'll probably be done by 1. So then I'll go ahead and go down to the gym 
can get that session in at least an hour and a half and then start getting ready um, for work. Um, so yeah, so that's what we have planned for today. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to do at least a 30 minute vlog. Right now we're probably at 15 minutes, so we have 15 more minutes. Um, so I'm still, I'm deciding on if I want to do my makeup on camera. And if we go over 30 minutes, then we go over 30 minutes. Um, but I want to give y'all a life update. So that's what I'll do. I'll probably do my makeup as I get ready for work on camera. Just to give you guys an update. So, yeah, let's get into today. So, wife, school, prayer. I've already did my prayer and worship. I've already did that. Um... And so, wife school prep, gym, lunch, and then we head to work. We actually have one leg today, going back to Atlanta on a 319. So, I'll give you guys a one view of the um, plane that we're on. Because I don't think I've ever um, showed that plane on my blog. So, yeah. And we'll probably end the vlog there because we should be around 30 minutes or so around then. So, come along. Let's get into today. Value and the principle of like actually respecting your husband as the head. Like it's like I knew, but I didn't know like how to put it into action. So the being in the white school gave me like a lot of help and um being quiet. Oh my gosh, I have seen a lot of changes um in my husband just by me being quiet. Hey. Keep showing up. Yes, the way, it's not the white school work, but, but more importantly, God's word work. I don't want, I mean, what, the white school is just uh, uh, another face of God's work. It's what I teach you is just the word. <laughs> when you go look at everything I, I teach you, I'm just teaching you the word of God. That's it. <laughs> we don't have no other preamble, no special nothing. And that's why it's so effective, y'all, because I only teach you the word. I always take you go back to the word. And I always force you to say, this is what God says, so that's what we're doing. I'm so proud of y'all. Oh, Lord. Go ahead, Miss Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany, I see you up there. Look at God. Look at the Lord. See what the <laughs> Lord has done. Yes, y'all. Y'all going to make me break out in some songs in a minute. I'm, I'm about two seconds away from a, a, a worship session. Y'all better leave me alone. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Tiffany. <laughs> Hello, good morning, ladies. Um, I'm just super excited to hear all of you guys' testimonies. And the coursework has been good. This class has been so on time. Um, you definitely need to do the women in ministry because uh, we do need it. But I'll talk about what I learned this week. Uh, obviously, just to piggyback on what everyone is saying, um, the triggers. The triggers, I am definitely a woman who was previously easily triggered in relationships. And what I was learning in the coursework this week was saying to recognize the triggers, um, to acknowledge them, share them with your partner. Something I learned in therapy is using a safe word if needed. Um, so that was something that I did um, before with someone and I established a safe word with that person and it helped tremendously. Um, and just to apologize, I realized that that was I, I apologize, but I don't apologize in the moment and also allowing my partner to kind of like come down from a place of defense um, that can, you know, cause things to de-escalate, calm us down so that we can communicate better, um, be at a place of healing. Um, I, I do have a therapist, so always just knowing that I have somebody that I can come back to. But what I've noticed with this week, well, the last two weeks is God was saying like, I need you, Tiffany. Like, I I have my relationship with God, but he's like, I need more intimacy with you before I give, bring you into this marriage. Um, so the prayer group that you have is, is very needed, but I'm just being more intentional with getting in my word and praying to God because this class week, it, it just made me so vulnerable and I'm just feeling like, look, I'm about to cry right now. I just, I just was like, I just don't want to disappoint my father. And I felt like with, you know, marriages and relationships, he has been working with me in the healing. 
but I just feel like there's something coming at the end of this class and I want God to be proud of me. And he has shown me. It's a husband, girl. That's what's coming. I know. And I, and I feel. <laughs> and it was something my therapist said. She was like, I need you to come in alignment with what God has revealed to you. I've been running, Miss Karima. God is really working with me. And like my therapist was saying, like, come in alignment and come in agreement. That's why God is calling you closer because something is. Yes, Pastor Steve, and he was saying, you got to go to God and let God talk about who you are first before you can come into the marriage because that is who, uh, when people say, like, uh, what do you bring to the table? God is going to show you who you are to him, and that is what you'll bring to the table. And he was just saying, you'll be able to respect your husband. And, and it was some other points that he talked about. Some of the ladies asked him, you know, what does that look like? You know, how do, but what I really was learning from even last week and this week, just go to God, allow him to prune you, allow him to, you know, cultivate the woman that he wants you to be. And it's nothing to be afraid of. And I think coming to the end of this, it's just like, Tiffany, you have nothing to be afraid of. And so I've had people speak into my life these last, just just um because i'm a flight attendant if you guys don't know like um our flight leader was like are you married she said because I, I just feel like marriage is coming for you and i was like huh like just out of the blue just out of the blue and i'm like that's crazy because i have been running and i'm like no no like i'm not married yet i want it but like she said like i just had to come in full so i just been so vulnerable and crying all week and i'm just like is this class is this class <laughs> But I want to thank you so much. But I definitely need the ministry because the Lord, um, I have had dreams that the person that I was, I have seen his, I have seen his face and um, I've been scared. But going through this class, um, God is calling on me and, you know, I'm ready to lock arms with him and I'm ready to go. High volume, high volume. High volume. Change, change, driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight. Sixteen Ooh. carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams oh, 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 away oh. to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight. Fifteen, the innocence was gone astray. Had to leave my home at an early age. I saw mama praying. I saw daddy grind. All my tender problems had to leave behind. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed. On the back of the bus in a bunk with the band. Going so hard, gotta choose myself. Underpaid and overwhelmed. I might cut clean, but still won't go. Still working all my life, you know. Only God knows. Only God knows. Only God knows. Them ride with my fears away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long back road. All the tears I fight, sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my fears away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long back road. Hey guys, so I am back to my room. I am all dressed, ready to go to work. Um, as you can see, I have truly enjoyed this layover. Um, I had planned to go, you know, I said after I finished wife school, I was gonna go to the gym, come back. But honey, I saw the pool down there and I was like, I'm going to the pool. And then they had a jacuzzi, so I'm like, I'm going to the jacuzzi. So this is the inside scoop of the flight attendant life. Like it was such a nice time to really um, just get some peace because honestly, I was gonna talk to you guys about this um, while I do my makeup, but we don't have time. I gotta go and go down to the restaurant and order something to eat. But I was gonna share that it was just such a great time and on time experience because I have not really been feeling my best. Um, I've kind of put my life on, you know, semi do not disturb just to kind of reset. 
I'm just going through some things like um, my mom passed away around this time of the year in 2022. And I know a lot of times um, we throw ourselves into work, um, but I am in this season where I am allowing myself to feel the pain, go through the emotions, you know, and that may look like binge eating, that may look like eating sweets. Um, I do have family support, but sometimes if you know me, if you are a friend of mine, you know I can isolate myself. And this is just one of those seasons where, you know, I'm just in self-isolation. I saw this post on Instagram where it says the chosen are often the ones that are isolated. Um, so God has me in consecration and, you know, my actions just, I did something that I know was not pleasing to God and I'm just not happy about it. So I've been feeling kind of down about that. I'm feeling down about my mother, you know, just not being here. Um, I just missed her so, so, so much. Um, and yeah, um, even though I told you before, like my life is peaceful and ultimately overall I am happy. But realistically, I want to show you guys that we do have moments and I allow myself to be human. Um, I do not suppress my emotions. I always allow myself to feel um, because that's, yeah, that's me. Nobody's going to have my back more than me. And that's a part of my self-care and my self-love is to treat myself with pamper and peace um, and just motivation, inspiration, anything that can uplift me, um, going to therapy, healing internally, all of that is um, a human experience. So I wanted to allow myself to go through that. Something else I wanted to tell you guys about, um, we did not, I did not get the base transfer that I was super excited to get. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I was bummed about that though, because the, the schedules were early reports and y'all know I don't like an early report. Your girl don't like to wake up. I like to wake up and go to the gym. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I like to do my prayer time and my devotion and the base that I wanted to go to the report times were just super early. Um, and I wasn't ready to do that right now. So I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I was kind of like, yeah, I'm a little bummed, but I'm not mad at it. Um, another update with my job um i will be off a day soon i've only been flying for two years a little over two years and i will be off a day soon so that's another thing that went into the base transfer um because i am atlanta based i kind of want to stay atlanta based and just commute um since i'll be moving since i'll be moving to another state also i'm spending um, I hopefully I put some clips in this vlog spending a little bit more time if not I'll put the clips here spending more time with my family um, just because I know that there's a transition that's getting ready to take place um, so just spending more time with them um, before I go I just feel myself saying you know take a big leap of faith and go somewhere else so still praying about it um but summer's coming up summer and as a flight attendant is super crazy and it's so fun my international trips are coming so make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe now and like this video and hit the thumbs up so that you can be notified um, of when i upload um yeah because summertime is lit as a flight attendant if you wanted to be a flight attendant summertime is the best time so vlogs are coming but i'm gonna head down and we're gonna get something to eat all right guys so i got my company purse here and i have my uniform y'all look how loose this dress fits on me it's super loose um because your girl is slimming down and it's i got it in a tall because I wanted a more tailored look, but I'm gonna get this altered because it can still fit. Um, and we have been trying to order uniforms with our company and it's been taking forever. So I don't wanna throw this one away just yet. Um, I'm probably just gonna get it altered and keep it, but yeah. Let's head on down and get something to eat before report time. It's about 4.16 right now and the shuttle picks up at 5.15. So we gotta go. So let's go. Could blame it on your lips, your touch, your kiss, you know, real traditional. 
put your love to original You were anything but conventional Baby, did you know that From the moment we fell in and knew we couldn't fall back Knew I'd always crawl back mm -hmm. Cause baby, it's the everything 